let's talk about one of my favorite mediums, charcoal. We love charcoal. Charcoal is amazing. The main properties that make charcoal an effective drawing medium and why we love it so much is the fact that it's extremely direct and also very flexible. By direct, what I mean is if I want to make a dark value in charcoal, I can just press hard on the stick against the paper and I'm going to get a dark value. If I press with barely any pressure, I'm going to get a very light value. And this is something that can't be done with the majority of other dry media. Like if I'm thinking pencil, for example, you wouldn't want to behave this way. With pencil, if you want to go dark, you have to layer and layer and layer and layer. And with charcoal, that's, that's not mandatory. If you want to just go immediately very dark, you can. And you're not going to compromise the health of your drawing by doing that. So that's a huge, huge, huge advantage. Basically, you can get very dark very fast if you need to. And the only thing that should stop you from doing it really is confidence about whether or not you know where the darks are supposed to go. And for that also, charcoal is extremely effective because it's very erasable. So it's good for both of those things. It's flexible enough for being an optimal medium for trying to capture the large shapes and where things belong in the design. And then once that's achieved, it can pretty much instantly deliver a very satisfying value hierarchy without the need to labor over it. This goes right into my personal preferences. It's like fast, easy, dynamic, erasable. The kinds of charcoal that you should be familiar with, first of all, there's natural charcoal and synthetic charcoal. These are the two broad categories that we all need to know about. In the natural charcoal category, we have willow charcoal and vine charcoal. Willow charcoal is softer, vine charcoal is harder, which means vine charcoal is better at capturing fine shapes and detail, and willow charcoal is better at quickly delivering dark values and easier to erase. So out of these two, I only use willow. I think vine charcoal personally have not found much use for it. For me, when I want to create fine detail and maneuver with, with a with a harder instrument, I prefer to go the synthetic charcoal route. Now, synthetic charcoal is what we know as like charcoal pencils, right? They also come in chalk forms, but the pencils are just way more convenient. And those basically work a little bit similarly to, to, to vine charcoal in that, you know, they're harder, they're more precise, they're easier to sharpen to a tip. And those are the ones that I use for the later stages of a drawing. So I usually start with willow because it's very flexible, very dynamic, very fluid. And then when it comes to trying to get in there and, and do a little bit more of a refined job, I use the synthetic charcoal for that. The synthetic charcoal also comes in various degrees of hardness. The softer pencils are also going to be darker, but harder to control, right? So I usually like the harder ones. Um, because if I want to go soft and hard to control, I'm just going to use the natural charcoal anyway, but know that this option is out there. You can get these from HB all the way to 6B. I want to say a few words about popular uses for charcoal. You have the option of just drawing with charcoal alone, in which case I would recommend a white paper because that maximizes the beauty of charcoal as a very, very, very dark drawing media. Like when you use white charcoal and then you give us a nice rich charcoal black, the contrast between them is just so gorgeous that if you're just doing a pure charcoal drawing, white paper, I think is the way to go is the most beautiful. Another way to go, which is my go-to technique, which is mixed media, mixing charcoal in with, with other dry media, like white charcoal, pastel. And for that, I prefer to use toned paper because that makes it way easier for the colors to pop and for all the mixtures to look harmonious. When you're trying to mix different dry media together on white paper, if it's not colored pencil, it's probably not going to work. So for that, I, pr I prefer the toned paper. And then lastly, a very, very, very popular use of charcoal is to make drawings as like a preparation for a painting. So what you can see here behind me is a charcoal drawing that I did on a painting panel. I put fixative and now it's ready to paint. So I really, really love 
how erasable charcoal is when you use it on a painting surface. You're going to notice that it's just so easy to remove, so easy to move around, which is exactly what you want. Because if I were to try to do this drawing in pencil before starting, I would have to work so hard to remove stuff from the surface when they were incorrect. And also like the aggressive erasing that is required to move pencil around can actually leave oily residue on your painting surface. And that's not fun, not healthy. So that's another very, very popular use of charcoal, at least in my studio. We love using charcoal underneath our paintings. The next item I want to discuss is graphite. So graphite, we can kind of talk about it in the context of charcoal in how different these two mediums are. Pardon the interruption. Hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, please take a moment to like it and to subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming cool stuff. And if you want to support my mission of making art education affordable and accessible, please consider joining my Patreon through the link in the description below. You'll have access to live lessons, full recorded workshops, Q&As, and much, much more. And you can sign up today for as little as $2. Thanks in advance for the support. Now back to the action. So graphite excels at exactly the things that charcoal falters on and vice versa. So if what we said was so beautiful about charcoal is how rich the darks are and how quickly you can get there, uh, Pencil is, that's exactly the disadvantage of pencil. Pencil does not go very dark and whatever dark it does go to, it goes there very, very slowly. But on the flip side, charcoal being a very, is a very clumsy medium, which makes it very, very annoying when it comes to capturing precise shapes, accurate detail, and very, very, very fine linear elements. So for all that good stuff, we turn to pencil. So pencil excels at everything that has to do with shape, proportion, measurements, all those things pencil is just the best for. Essentially, I would say as a, as a rule of thumb, when you're trying to pick whether or not you want to work with graphite or you want to work with charcoal. Oh, by the way, graphite, I'm just going to do 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 do. By graphite, I mean just regular drawing pencils. You know, everything from the pencils we use at school to the pencils that we buy at the art supply store, all those are graphite pencils. So when you're when you're about to start dry media project and you want to choose between pencil and charcoal, what would lead me to make the decision about going this way or, or that way is what am I trying to capture here? If I'm trying to capture the relationships of dark and light, and that's what's important to me, the depth and the lighting charcoal is the medium. If I'm trying to capture the, the linear aspects of the design, the shapes, the likeness, the gesture, all those things that can just basically be captured perfectly in line, even without going dark, those things are stacked in the pros of pencil. So just very generally, like, is it important for your drawing to be very dark and very contrasting? If yes, go charcoal. Is it important for your drawing more than more than going dark and, and contrasting? Is it important that it's very refined and that the shapes are extremely precise and, and it has some linear elements that you would like to incorporate? If yes, go pencil. Now, another thing to consider is that pencil does not mix very well with other dry media. It's kind of like a loner. If you try to mix it with pastels, it's going to be sad. You try to mix it with oil, going to be sad. Uh, it's, so it, it's like, it's kind of whatever you do with pencil, make sure that you don't incorporate other media on the same area that you've covered with pencil. Something that I really like to do is work with pencil and with, with white chalk on the same piece of paper, but without letting them mix. If you do that, that's going to work perfectly for you. Uh, but do not try to mix it with other stuff, it's not going to love it. One additional note, I said that pencil does not mix well with oil, and that's true, but pencil is fine uh, as an underdrawing for oil as long as you fix it so that it doesn't 
get incorporated into the oil. So if you put either fixative or like something like a PVA to create a layer that basically isolates the, the drawing from the painting, then it can work out for you. But that said, I prefer charcoal and that's that.